Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So, it is time to put this or lift the motor up pretty much. I have to take it off the engine hoist here. I need to change the uh, flex plate um, for the 4L80. We got the 4L80 underneath this cover over here. But first things first, I got to take it up and get it out of the um, engine stand. Um, that's the next thing I'm going to be doing. So I just purchased this here. Got it on Amazon. 25 bucks. I could have gone to Harbor Freight and bought the same thing. But I haven't had any time. I've been pretty busy with work and just life stuff. And uh, so this is what it is. Um, I think I have some bolts that I could use to... Uh, Maybe like mount it to the back of the heads here and maybe somewhere in the front. I'm not 100% sure exactly how that's going to go, but uh, that's the plan. So once I get that hooked up, I'll come back and show you guys. All right, guys. So I was able to get some chain and put these on as those ones right here are a bit shorter. And usually they'll work if you don't have the intake manifold on, but I'm not trying to break any of those uh, gaskets. I'm not trying to purchase any of that. I'm just going to do it this way and send it and see what happens. If I have to uh, replace gaskets or anything like that later on, then, then I'll go that route. But for now, um, this is how it's going to be. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take it off the engine stand right here and go from there. All right. All right, so we got it down. Now we're going to go ahead and I got to take off this uh, flex plate and uh, put the new one on. Um, but you know what? I'm thinking that before I do any of that, I'm probably just going to get that transmission that I got over there and put it on. And... Uh, just start my mocking process and see if everything goes in the way it needs to go in and uh, you know we just go from there and then once we get closer then we'll go ahead and put everything installed the way it needs to be but I think for now for the process it'll be better if I just get that transmission on kind of mock it in and go about you know figuring out how to make these uh engine mounts so i think that's what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and grab that transmission and drag it over there all right all right we got the transmission kind of mounted on so now we have to kind of clear up over here headed in but as you guys can see right here the headers the the original exhaust manifolds are gonna hit so they hit on both sides so I'm gonna have to take them off I'm gonna have to take them off and uh, slide it in then probably see if well, I just have to take them off. I gotta take them off and see what happens. All right, that's what's next. All 
All right, guys, as you guys can see, we took off the exhaust manifolds on both sides, and we were able to slide it back a little bit more. But unfortunately, it's kind of, you know, hitting back here on the back side um, on the bell housing or the fire wall up against the bell housing. I knew that I was going to have to cut it anyways. Um, but what I think I'm going to have to do is, as you guys can maybe tell, I don't know if you could really tell down there, but the oil pan, this is the regular truck oil pan, and it's kind of hitting on my cross member right there. So I'm going to go ahead and order the smaller uh, oil pan, the, the one that's a little more uh, shallow, I guess, and uh, go from there. So uh, I think this will be it for today's video. So Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time.